Silvio, and this is part 9 of my 2022 Christmas Village food tutorial series. After the advent of this dome, I had a couple of rough hours imagining myself being changed all around every single Christmas store in the world by Mr. Lemax and Mr. Department 56, uh, shouting at me and accusing me of having broke every rule on Christmas villages, aesthetics. Then one of my many inner voices remembered me that rules are there to be broken. Otherwise don't put rules, guys. And this is even more true for mentally disturbed people. So I quickly forgot and went on. But went on with what? with the need of expanding one more time, maybe not the last, the last one. This platform here, this other 10, 12 centimeters styrofoam platform, was 10 centimeters more towards the left. When? When I closed my last video. Then one of your comments, thank you for your comment, especially to Tim Botema, who really pointed that out. He said, hey, don't you think you have cornered a little too much your Jules Van Fitters? It is a little sacrificed down there. And it was right, guys. And I always need your eyes to point out where I made some mistake. So I cut those 10 centimeters of platform, but now I like 10 centimeters in the other direction. But here I have the railroad, so I will need to try to figure out how to expand without compromising the railroad, maybe with a platform, maybe with some more support, I don't know now but this dome uh, will have three ring under it those three ring need to be placed on a platform and that platform must be motorized to get you all the three ring a view so i will need to dismantle this zone here not the tracks guys and in this little space here try to, cons to conceive a motorization for the uh, platform and hide it in some way and conceal it in some way then then i will need to work on the new uh, novelist um, Victoria Nia novelist feature on the opposite corner and then and then I don't know guys so I will not promise you anything I will not make you any statement on what I will be doing next I just need to work on the motor there when right now I will start by introducing you the platform on top of which the three ring will coexist. I did this off camera mainly because the glue needed at least four hours of drying time. I used my standard PVC glue. I didn't add a piece of styrofoam this large, so I cut three uh, rectangular pieces of styrofoam joining them piece by piece with some glue and then once it was dried I cut the circle 53 centimeters of circle okay nine millimeters thick standard styrofoam solid yes it can grow because in the middle it's not that solid 
than in the center there, and that's the reason of those lines. Uh, when you have a square or a rectangle, uh, a rectangular um, shape, it's more easy to trace the center by joining the diagonal points, the opposite corners. So I date that and then cut around the, the, the lines marking the center of the uh, disc of the uh, discus are still there and so I am the center. A lot over here because I use a compass with some um, exacto knife to cut everything around. This will need to rotate counterclockwise or clockwise in some way. How will I achieve that result? With this little guy here. This is a synchronous motor. More precisely, it is a motor used inside microwaves to turn your turntables and uh, make the mill cook it properly. Very low rotation, in this case I have a 4 round per minute motor. <laughs> I haven't tested it, but it is, I have a couple of them, but this is the slowest one. The other one is between 8 and 10 rounds per minute. Uh, more the diameter is big, more you have the impression that it turns quickly. It's a simple effect. If you take a look at the center of the motor, when you switch it on, you have the impression that it turns uh, very slowly. But then, if you attach this to something bigger and bigger, <laughs> you have the impression that it's turning very quickly. Effect. So, I will stay with my 4 run per minute motor, hoping that it will not be too uh, to elevate speed for the platform there. For what? Yes, it is a 220, 240 volt. This means that you will use directly uh, the power source from your appliances, okay? And not an AC adapter. So this is a little dangerous, but I will protect everything uh, uh, once I connected it. Uh, so you plug it directly into the sector, into your house sector. They come in Europe in 220 to 40 volts. They come where you need uh, to have it 120, 140 in 120, 140 volts. Microwave oven with some ores to use it. But this will be somehow like that, I don't think so. Directly connected to the uh, to the platform, yes. But if the motor turn, even uh, everything will turn with it. I don't have a support to have it turn correctly. I will need to split it one support uh, join it with the motor, one of the support joined to the platform or some part of it. But this will be my solution. I just have another thing, this is hard, yes, but not enough hard, it is somehow soft. So I decided to go with this guys. This is a 2.5 millimeter thick round piece of wood commonly used in art to paint over it you find it everywhere in every store selling paintings uh, paints uh, colors or uh, tools to uh, make your <laughs> allow you to paint to do your 
type 5 hobby if your hobby is a painting. So it is wood, much more hard, much more resistant and resilient than styrofoam. I will place it like that. One under the platform, or maybe a couple of them. Yes, a couple of them. In fact, guys, I have here two pieces. Four circle total. Two for the platform. Two for the motor. Like that. And this will be fixed in some how to the table, to my plywood support. And then the motor will stick to a hole in the middle and then transfer the movement to the platform there. And something more, I think, guys. Okay, but for the moment, uh, I will not tell you everything right now. I will proceed and explain to you step by step. I will start by trying to fix this motor, this motor, sorry, to this, the, those two um, uh, round piece of uh, plywood, very thin plywood, glued together with my PVC glue. I don't have cut them, I didn't cut them, I purchased them like that. Marketplaces, art stores, don't care. Uh, I will need so to fix this underneath it and to have a hole big enough to have the the um, the stuff here getting through and allowing also a mean of transmitting and joining the movement between the motor and the platform. Those circles here are 15 centimeters in diameter. A diameter of 15 centimeters, okay, but a circle can be inscribed inside a square, okay? Why I did this? To find the middle and to have it drilled. So I have here my 15 by 15 centimeters square. I place my, my couple of circle inside it. I take my ruler, I go, I go with the corners there. Those are the corners. One corner here. Then without moving anything, try not to move anything. I will go with the other two corners. So I have here the middle of my circle. 7.5 7.5 This will be the center, the plain center of my ring, of my circle. I will do the exact same thing for the other one, because I will need both of them.
Now, how will I connect this? I will connect this with a cable like this one. Okay, I will try it before fixing and protecting. This is a Cygnus 220 volt motor. I don't care plus and minus. This is just phase and neutral. Uh, phase, the phase and the neutral from the uh, power circuit, your home power circuit. Okay, I will place it like that. Then here I have a little connector. I made this little connector here, okay, because I don't know the length I will be using. Then I have also prepared this little plug. Don't worry, this is an Italian plug. Strange for someone who is not in Italy, but this is a two plug, two Italian plug. And, okay, with a switch on off and a way to connect it here like that okay I will try not to get electrocuted okay let's test it on okay guys I think let me yes uh, simply following the shadow here uh, you are uh, watching the motor turning around so it works now I will need to transfer the movement to the platform, the closest possible to the platform. Let's continue. So this is uh, up, this is down. I will go, I need the support there, okay. I will go this way. Once again, a triangle, guys. Uh, instead of four legs, three are more than enough, but you need to place them triangle or star. And this will be the support for the motor, okay, itself. Now, three little L-shaped bracket, okay? Uh, let's imagine this will be my plywood uh, table. I will use them to fix it to the legs. Okay, so I will go with some uh, with some screw.
let's continue. This is the motor. This is the side that will be connected to my platform, that will be glued to the platform, okay? And they will go like this. Not precisely like this, guys. Um, I need to introduce you some more thing. Imagine this is a microwave. This is the motor for the microwave. And you will need your turning plate on top of this to allow it to, um, to turn and cook properly. Okay? So I think almost everyone out there has a microwave and knows that between the base of the microwave and the turning table, the turning plate, there is something in here facilitating the rotation of the platform, of the plate. I went that way when I think about This. Almost the same principle, almost the same technique, but obviously this is not adapted for a microwave. I remodeled it, redesigned it. Not the time, triangles, little star in the middle. But look also what I have here. I have a little toroidus that can also be imagined as a wheel, okay, a wheel. Then I have something that could be compared to a plastic screw with some thread. And I've also modeled a negative thread inside the star like that if i get the wheel in the screw into the wheel okay and please notice that in this section here the same thickness of the wheel i don't have a thread i've also modeled an hexagonal hole here to get it screwed but you can do it with my hands I can screw it down the thread the thread is ended but the screw but, but the wheel sorry here here it's turning by chance I have two more One, and two. Normally in microwaves, the wheels are designed to turn to be in the middle of between the microwave and the, and the plate, okay? Because this is not connected to anything in a microwave. I've remodeled this, redesigned this, in order to get it only rolling on one of the two sides. So if I apply it like that, I can get under, uh, under the wheel without making it turn so this is too thick but anyway you can see that 
the wheel here inside. Don't touch this plywood here because this is intended to work upside down, obviously, this way. Okay, so this will be connected to the platform, the plywood will be connected to the star, and this will rotate on top of it like that, and the wheels will facilitate the sliding, because otherwise wood, between wood against wood, it generates a friction and it does not facilitate the movement, okay? Sorry, the camera died. So I was saying maybe I can use a pipe like that with the hose clamp in here. And then the pipe here that's making the movement to the top side. But yes, usable. Uh, but this band too much. I uh, risk to have the platform doing and that. So another solution maybe to use some PVC pipe. This is 10 millimeters, one centimeter PVC pipe with a 1.3 uh, mil uh, of thickness that fits perfectly, almost perfectly, on this row, this shaft here. The problem is, I need to glue it, but I don't want to lose the ability to reuse once again this motor after having dismantled my village. Uh, epoxy glue, yes, but then the motor is kaput, more dead. Okay, or, or I can use hot glue. I don't like hot glue, it's a mess using hot glue, but in this case, it will help me creating a connection between this little pipe here and the rod shaft of the motor. And this is not permanent because after some months, the Mm, the hot glue tends to deteriorate, okay? Okay, I think it works guys, you can see that the hole is turning and the, um, the wire is not turning, so only the motor is giving the rotation to the upside here. Okay, good. Let's continue.
Okay guys, it seems that it works. Let's test it with the big fellow on top of it. I will not glue it right now on top of here because I first need to screw it down on the plywood the platform, on the plywood table, then I will glue it. So I will do the work on the uh, plywood itself, on the table itself. But this should work because the resin will make some Okay guys, I think it worked, as you can see, uh, you have the impression that this is uh, very quick. But it's four round a minute, each minute, four round. But it works. See you. Next, um, the big uh, rotating platform for the three ring circus is there and it is working and not finished away from being finished. And it's time to talk about the rings, the three rings. By the way, what I used to make the big rotating platform, I used a compass, not the one used to show you direction north, south, east and west, but the geometric one and this one. The characteristic of this compass here is that it can make big circles with this add-on here and also it can support pens, pencils, but also exacto knife like that. So I use this method to cut the big circle okay this can go up to 30 centimeters in uh, radius so uh, 60 centimeters in diameter and so i could use this method here for one big round circular um, geometric form but here we need to make some rings with an inner and an outer diameter this is good for circles, it is not good for um, rings as it is not precise, especially at very large dimensions. I thought previously that my rings need to be 21 cm in outer diameter and 18 cm in inner diameter. So um, the ring will have a width of 1.5 cm because 21 minus 18 equals 3, 3 divided by 2 equals 1.5. So 1.5 cm in thickness of the <laughs> width of the uh, rings. How will I proceed with this cutting table here? You have seen me doing it uh, with a tutorial last season, but I also have some uh, gigs for this. Uh, jigs, sorry, I have some jigs. One of them is this little add on here that by chance has the same width as the guides, and sorry, wrong way, and you can go this way up. Yeah. It has a little groove in the middle to allow the um, hot um, uh, wire to travel through it and a nail here. This nail here indicates the center of the um, of the uh, form, geometric form you need to do. This is especially done for making cones if the wire is not perpendicular or uh, rings 
circle or cylinders if the wire here is at 90 degrees with the plate here. How it work? Simply like that, if this is the middle, it is pin up there and you turn your styrofoam around, all around, you may, uh, you will um, get as a result uh, something circular when well, this is at 90 degrees. So this is the center of the circle of the ring. One thing is important, to get the wire as coldest as possible, but allowing the cut to be done. Why? Uh, if the wire is too hot, it will make a big cut in the styrofoam, because and the, the hot um, will enlarge the groove made by the, and the wire. If it is coldest, colder, uh, but still able to cut, it will cut a precise and thin groove into the styrofoam, just as the dimension, the diameter of the wire. Uh, how this is work? It, uh, no, the wire will become hotter and hotter in function of the distance between this point here and the other point where it is attached the other wire uh, in, um, in the, under the table here. So the distance here, this distance here. Uh, if I shorten this distance, the electricity needed to travel uh, less centimeters, so it will give more and more heat to this little section. But if I go up till where I can, at limit I could have done here, I could have gone here. Uh, the distance is longest and so the material is much more to be heated, the wire has um, more length to be heated, and so the uh, heat is dispersed on a longest uh, uh, length, and the wire is not that uh, hot. If I go down there, this little section will become red, hot red incandescent because I'm reaching the, um, the minimum distance between the two points where the circuit is um, done, is closed. I can also regulate the voltage applied here but I prefer using this method so I will go up there and then use the coldest possible temperature for the wire. I forgot to tell you that this is not always on, otherwise I will burn myself. If it is always a switch on, yes, but the, um, the electricity didn't go through because I also have here a little foot switch. If I apply with my foot pressure, I get the circuit closed and the wire come, become hot and hot. This is a food switch. Very useful not to burn yourself and to work uh, in security safely. Okay? I need three rings. But this is not enough, nine meals, guys. Let's talk about this with my lion tamer. If I make a ring nine millimeters, it's not even uh, at the uh, knees level, okay? I can show you. It's under the, uh, the knees, okay? Not enough, so I will use one and a half, so nine 
plus 4.5, 1.3 centimeters, around 1.3 centimeters. So I got the rosa for, it is 27 by 22 and a half. Uh, I will waste some uh, uh, styrofoam, but it will be useful like that. Then those, I made three of them, then placed them at 90 degrees and cut through in the middle here. Okay, so I will use a total of six pieces of styrofoam. Good, how will I proceed? I have here my styrofoam, I need to pick the center, the middle. I will place, I hope you can see, yes, if I work like that you can see. I will mark the middle there. Not enough long. So this one is not suited, but this one, yes. I will go from one corner to the opposite. And done. Okay, and the result I want is not the circle, but it is the ring there. I will get a perfect circle here, guys, with a cut at 90 degrees if this is set properly. And I will show you in real time because I'm not fast forwarding, but because this is the real time you need to cut a circle. Then once it is glued and and uh, uh, painted, it will disappear, the groove, uh, it will uh, disappear in the middle. Uh, by the way, uh, in real life, uh, those rings are made by segments. I will not use the segments uh, because it will be difficult to recreate a precise ring, but in real life there are pieces joined together, just one beside the other one in a real circles. But I will use this, this technique to make the three rings. The result guys, three nine millimeter thick rings, three 4.5 thick uh, rings, and then a bunch of perfect disc that I will not throw away, they may uh, get useful someday. Now, I forgot my tamer. Here. It is... Why I cut the other? This is too short. If I use two of them, it's too tall, but if I use one and a half, it is, I think, the correct age for a ring, a circus. So let's glue together this little one here. And 
this is the result guys they will be placed exactly like that on top of the platform with figurines inside three scenes here you may be wondering why I haven't glued together two uh, rectangular pieces of styrofoam and then cut the circle and the ring after having glued them together this would have meant uh, just uh, six uh, cut and not, uh, just three cut and not six cut simply because uh, hot wire cutting table and glue any kind of glue super glue PVC glue etc white glue don't go well together the hot wire when it came in contact with some glue it can't get through it it becomes cold and doesn't get through the uh, the um, the foam especially at the lowest temperature okay so this is those are yes those are my three rings and the little lay of china here is saying uh, see you in just some seconds for something else. <laughs> oh well guys, now I should tremble. I need to go one step further towards craziness with my three ring circus and this will not be the last step towards absolutely craziness. Uh, but I think this will be the last part concerning the three ring circus. I will show you in this part nine. The rest will come with the next part. I need to go to give some of my time to the rest of the layout. But prepare yourself. A circle. 360 degrees. Nothing difficult here. A polygon inscribed inside this circle made by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 segments. The, this, remember vaguely, my dome, my geodesic dome with at the base 10 segments good but those 10 segments in order to get a perfect inscribed inside that circle need and this is a regular polygon guys each segment has the same length this is how it's made with 36 angles between the segment and the next one I place one segment then the next one here then I rotate at 36 degree and I come here then one to one beside the other 36 degree and I go over 36 10 times 36 equals 360 degrees luckily for me this is a regular polygon as it is the base of my dome Whew. I told you that the dome will not be on the floor it will be on top of something because I don't want any tent I wanted the dome to be transparent and each scene to be seen from the outside when the turntable turns around. A revolutionary circus, a steampunk circus. Guys, I made 10 of those. I tried to be as a steampunk as possible with uh, with uh, um, the design because here the design is full of uh, sorry I haven't properly cleaned this 
uh, because the design, the steampunk design is full of arcs. Here I have one main arc and different arcs there. This is not an arc but it is arc at the bottom and square there. And plenty of holes in the structure. This is supposed to be metallic as anything really steampunk. And this will go this way. It is it has an height of eleven centimeters. So everything underneath the dome should be seen through like this eleven centimeters on top of here. And this will allow me to avoid the tent. How this is possible? Ten of those, but they are regular, they are symmetrical. No, guys, look here, please. Here, a squared angle, corner, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Here, I have from here 36 degrees. So, one side of each of those segments is 36 degrees rotated like this, okay? And the effect will be this one when they are, they are place it once against the other and I hope if my calculations are right to get the support for my uh, dome I made them 9 millimeters thick to allow me to play a little with dimensions and that's the reason why I haven't yet glued together all the skewers that compose my dome. I certainly will need to adjust, but this will be the base, the gigantic base. Now, I may have problems gluing them together mainly because this is done with PLA, polylactic acid, plastic, yes, but made from corn, from mm, mm, vegetables. It's not pure plastic, maybe with some glue it may have problem, but I need to glue them precisely at 36 degrees. Okay, component A, component B, five minutes to cure. And let's proceed a little step by a little step. I will show you obviously only the first because this will take me ages, as I just said. Okay, and that's it guys, a little more than one hour, let's say five minutes for that 
multiplied by 10, it's 50 minutes, then some adjustments, let's say uh, 1 hour and 15 minutes to complete this. And <laughs> geometry don't lie, guys. If you um, design it correctly and you have a, a 3D printer well calibrated, geometry don't lie. Uh, and each part will stick together one beside the other and this is the result guys all around here gigantic guys because I can't even show you the entire structure because it's very big but let's hope that this will fit under the dome so I will show you if it is the case in the final recap. Bye. Okay, let's work for some time on this new feature here, guys. Okay, and I've uh, all along the week I've added day after day some uh, epoxy, you know, uh, some super glue on top of the wires here and inside the coils they actually make that more stable and avoid to those two pieces to break it down. Uh, I will work on the general aspect and then on some on some basic electronics here because I will explain why. First of all let's work about on the mess here too much uh, wires okay, wires there I will um, drill some holes in the styrofoam and get the uh, wires under the um, uh, under the, the base here. I've already tested them in last part 8, they are working correctly, but I feel that they don't tremble too much. This is supposed to be Victorian era, first experiment with lights, first experiment with steampunk, etc. So this needs to be more trembling. If I power those lights with simply an AC adapter of 3 volts, because those LED, LED here are 3 volts LEDs, uh, I can, in theory, okay, because in reality you need to put one resistor uh, before each and single one of these uh, LED, but then you need to uh, power them with more than 3 volt. Um, Volt equals resistor per current intensity. This is basics, okay? But uh, theory dictates that if you have a three, um, reality dictates that if you have a three volt LED, you must power it with more than three volt and then put um, before the LED a resistor to limit the current and the voltage to it. Okay, but I always did uh, three volt LED in series, okay, or in parallel. In this case, it's parallel, uh, and then 
simply 3 volt of power get in there and they are always working every every single year for, for the last 20 years okay but now to get it more trembling the lights I will still power them with 3 volt but I will place before the entering point a resistor a 15 ohm resistor if I go ahead with 3 volt they, they will light normally but if I add 15 ohm the current and the voltage will get lower and then I get a flickering effect, a trembling effect. It will be clear in some uh, days, <laughs> in some minutes. Um, and to do that I will need to have a much cleaner job than what I did in here. Here I placed, uh, last, last part, in last part I placed all them together and then join them. I will use some PCB this time, okay? I will get a plus entry and a minus entry and then everything else. I was checking if I have something, uh, something, maybe this one will get uh, always the same length, yes, shorter. I can go with this one. I will need to work carefully, but I can go with this PCB here. So, what I will need? I will need a plus and a minus entry for the car for the voltage. Let's say that I will go in here with plus and here I will go minus. So left will be plus, right will be minus as the voltage, okay? Um, I will then place the resistor Let's uh, proceed uh, for a moment with the building here of the of these new features. I cut pre-cut a bunch of pieces of styrofoam that I will use in some minutes. I will start from the back side here. This is Zerti. And I will mark the center. Fifteen. Okay. Here I have a piece of styrofoam that is twenty-two by nine. 
22, the middle is 11. From a clear sky, I wasn't ready to say goodbye. Ever since you left, there's nothing but a cloudy sky, and there's no day, there's only night. Now I'm sitting all by myself, trying to see the light in the dark, but everything is covered in sadness. I need this removable for a reason that I will not reveal, but this will be something needed for this little new feature in here, and that's all I think. Let's go for the final recap. It was time, guys. Final recap of part 9 and I will start once again from the new Victorian era novelist feature there. Uh, I add the resistor in order to get less bright colors, guys. They were very disturbing. I noticed that after shooting the part 8 video. And this is more stable. Those colors are more stable right now. And uh, they don't kill the camera and they are even flickering from time to time trembling lights is trembling right now it is the blue there that is trembling now it's no more blue but uh, uh, this the resistor will help increase the um, good looking aspect of that feature guys and uh, the big square red box you have there obviously it's not finished obviously in the middle yeah, i will add something not as shocking as the previous feature but at least surprising i will add some more th i think i think i will add three more uh things to the to the feature there then i will paint everything uh i will not reveal anything and by night the new resistor will give even more um brilliance to the uh, feature. Let me explain. I will sh switch off the lights. Voila. And uh, you may appreciate that by night, this time, the lights are not killing the view, guys. Two bright colors. When I saw uh, the result of the night shooting, uh, I was not sure to have it to the edit, to the final editing, but I leave it anyway uh, to the to the video. But now the colors are more diffused. You can appreciate every single color. There is no one that is uh, killing the camera. That is. Uh, 
uh, emitting uh, that of ray and uh, you can appreciate the different colors the changing of the colors and by night the flickering of the lights of the led is more uh, visible uh, the little door maybe is too little but i don't think so and uh, i don't think <laughs> that i will reveal everything for next part part 10 i will try to work as hard as i can let's switch on once again the lights there and and now let's get to the opposite side guys i know you are waiting for that and the opposite side guys is like that right now okay the dome up 11 centimeters under the dome 10 arcs with some smaller arcs inside the three rings getting around obviously here the trick will be to have the same weight inside the three rings otherwise you will have an effort oops Sorry guys, I haven't fixed the dome. I will like that. Next time I will fix the dome. And the under dome. Like that guys. Sorry. But I was saying right now that uh, uh, it, it will be very important to have the same weight inside the three rings, otherwise one will tend to go down and you will not have everything uh, in balance and so it will get, it will get, I will get some frictions with the platform going up once down, once up, etc. Now it is perfectly balanced so it will turn and i modified a little bit the switch and if i switch another time now it's going counterclockwise now it will go uh, clockwise guys so i will have different choice to move it once in the one direction and once in the other let's rechange the switch and this time counterclockwise uh from the distance you have seen it and this will be the characteristic of the circus uh, obviously i will like i will have to hide some more in here but it's just some refinement i will uh, complete it uh, by next time and uh, this is the effect that everything can be seen through the arcs from every angles guys okay um don't worry, I will cover every uh, horse with, with something. I already figured out, but I, didn't have, I don't have the time to do it for this part uh, 9. And I've also uh, added uh, 20 more centimeters there. You have 20 more centimeters from this side. I expanded a little more. I covered a little more the railroad and I will go once again in here with this, this solution here, still to complete there, but here I will have a space for uh, the training of all the other uh, circus characters figurines. I, I will have them trained here and I will also have a little passage in here to go in there i will level everything i promise this is a statement for next time but i needed to have some space in here to allow the platform to um, go in circle without having friction underneath it i cut maybe too much of space too much of styrofoam but i can always fill the gaps 
and I will do that for next time. The three rings, you have seen the three rings, uh, not a bad result, and they are centered, and this is the result with the dome, guys, even from the distance. Here, from the distance, you will have this effect. Still need to be painted because now white on white, I don't like it. All need to be painted metal, then adding the transparent material on the dome, uh, some lights, <laughs> still many, many things to do, guys. Uh, but I think this is pure a steampunk. Uh, Last season, I ended up my project in 20, 21 weeks. And the next week, this new series will be at part 10. So I should be halfway through. But no, guys, I'm four to five weeks behind the schedule this season. I don't know why. Yes, I know why. Because this little monster here will take at least 60, 6, oh, 6 times 10 hours to complete. And when I decided to go with this new type of features, such as the Gilvan and everything else, and the Steampunk team associated to everything else, I didn't realize how much time I will have to infuse in this project to complete everything. My mistake, now I'm here, and I need to finish everything. Each time I edit uh, my videos, it doesn't seem that I <laughs> did a lot of work, much work. But it's the opposite, guys. It is very difficult to, to edit uh, 25 to 27 hours of work each time and getting videos no more than 20 to 30 minutes maximum 45 minutes that's the reason why my videos are over two hours this season but but i am doing a tutorial series so i can't skip everything such as the model here i will certainly skip the part where i oh ah, you are seeing this so you have just finished seeing this so uh, you have already noticed that I skip the part where I attached the legs to the plywood because it was obvious. And the motor rear, not the perfect solution, maybe yes, maybe not, but it is effective, it works. For the dome, it works. The circus will be there, I will respect my statement, so I will continue, I will have space for all the figurines, the training part of the circus, etc. And the future, I will not reveal what will be in the middle of the new building right there on the, on the Victorian era uh, novice feature. What else to say? Nothing, guys. This week I'm a little tired, I don't know why. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English. And if you wish, but only if you really wish, see you and next time. Bye.